Dave, I got a gift for you. What? Check it out. Gino, really a gift? Yes. This is not scripted in any way. <laughs> so you're giving me this guitar? Yes. Uh, just something I got in a trade, and uh -huh. I don't know what to do with it. So I figured the best place to bring it would be my good pal Dane here, and see what he can come up with for this. Bro, thank you so much. It's like the, it's like the Gene Simmons kind of uh, axe, but worse. Made by. <laughs> Lawson, what do you know about it? Uh, apparently there's a couple of them floating around. Uh, they all seem to have different hardware or slightly different looks, different paint jobs. But um, yeah, I don't really know that much about it. I tried contacting anybody's name that was ending in Lawson. I assumed it says Dean on the on the neck plate. Yeah, it just. Could be a mix and match of whatever parts whoever Lawson was had. Couldn't find anything about it. I contacted three different Lawson guitar builders that I was able to find, and they all said no. They said they don't know who made it, it's not theirs, but there's a couple photos of other ones floating around, so somebody had to make at least a, a dozen or so, and they all seem to be a little bit different. So. But the string height is like, the neck is really in bad shape, huh? Yeah. It's, is it twisted? Yeah, it's pretty twisted. It's toast. Bro, thank you so much. I love this kind of stuff. I know that Court made uh, the, the bass guitar for Gene Simmons that looked like an axe. Yes, and Kramer did as that, well. Kramer made one. This thing's totally cool, man. Thank you so much. Yeah, no worries. Hopefully we can make it into something cool. You know what? I have a friend, his name's Rob, and he paints all these guitars for me. From garbage to glitter, where I take old BC Riches and I paint those things and add glitter. Maybe I'll just let him decide. You can just take this thing and have fun with it. Yeah. You don't want any of the parts off of here? No. Nope. You don't want to keep it's, the pickup or anything? It's all yours. All right. All yours. Cool. Thanks, man. Yeah, no problem. We'll talk to you guys later. Three weeks later. All right, so I just got this guitar back from being painted, and you guys can see it's shaped like an axe. It's got the bloody axe blade, and it's got the skull and the pirate skull, 24 frets, and up here at the headstock, we put the KISS logo on here. So this is my guitar that I'm going to put together today. So here we go. Today's string choice, SIT, 9 through 42s. Let's put strings on this thing.
guys so here it is it's all finished up I have it playing and so this is my axe guitar which is a kind of a tribute to kiss if you look at the headstock here the kiss logo turned out really good on this and I think it's just a very fun guitar but here's what I'm gonna do with this guitar I'm gonna put this thing on reverb and you guys probably all watch uh, fluff that and his YouTube channel he has a segment where he does the ridiculous reverb listing. So with your guys' help, let Fluff know about this guitar. I'm going to post it on reverb. Um, it's going to be July 27th, July 28th, right around that time. I'm going to post it on re reverb. And I'm going to ask a ridiculous amount of money for it just to see what happens. And hopefully we can get this thing on Fluff's channel. I think he's called Riffs and Beards. I think that's what his channel is called, but uh, Ridiculous Reverb Listings, this one's gonna get on there. <laughs> Because this thing is ridiculous it needs to be on ridiculous guitar listings on reverb the thing is though this thing actually plays pretty darn good it does have the strap locks on here if you wanted to use a strap it's very hard to sit down and play this guitar it's it's made to be you know it's made to where you have to kind of stand up to do it the uh, scarf joint looks a little bit weird right here but it's, it's secure, and uh, it's been sanded down. But overall, I think the guitar is in, you know, it's not a complete joke. It, it's a joke, but not a complete joke. But yeah, it's just a fun sort of axe, bloody axe. And compared to how it used to look, I think it turned out really good. So anyhow, guys. Look for this one on the uh, Fluffs channel and uh, hopefully we can get it over there so he can put it in as part of one of his videos. And leave in the comments what you think I should ask for this guitar. Um, leave in the comments what you think about it and uh, thank you guys very much for watching. See you guys in the next video. Okay, so I have this display case, a glass display case in the store. And we wasn't sure if this thing was going to fit in here. But sure enough, it does. I mean, how rad is that, right? That's a one of a kind right there, guys. Mm -hmm.